Hi, this is Ed Griswold. I'm going to show you how to set up a stinger inside of the software for the StreamBreeze. A stinger is nothing more than an animation used to perform a transition from the preview to the program. I can show you one, a real simple one here on my preview side. And this is a, so a soccer ball that flies in, goes full screen, and then flies out. And you can see down here in the lower, in the center right here, that it is 60 frames long. So it's a two second transition, 30 frames per second. Now, I'll show you what it does. And I'm going to bring up this clip here. Now, if I hit this uh, number four overlay, you're going to see it fly in and fly out and then and perform the transition. I'll do it again. In and out. So it covers the screen up so you can't see the transition from one video to the other. And to set this up, I'm going to close this down and I'm going to bring it back in. All you need to do, all you need to do is add an input under image tab, point to your image. In this case I have it in my in a folder on my M drive. Point to the very first frame, number one frame. Click OK and make sure the image sequence box is checked. Once that's done, click OK and that brings the sequence in. So now I can bring it up and I can scrub through it. And the first thing you know on mine is it's a four, it's a four by three aspect ratio. So I'm going to double click and change it to a widescreen. Since I'm working on a 16 by 9. And the next thing I need to do is go into my overlay down here in the lower right hand corner. My overlay. And I'm going to use overlay channel number 4 so that I don't accidentally, to try and act, prevent accidentally triggering the uh, stinger from, from operating. So I'll go down to number four. And what you have to be aware of is the duration and the stinger cut point. The entire duration, like I said earlier, is two seconds, 60 frames. Two seconds in milliseconds world is 2,000. So I type in 2,000. And the stinger goes full screen halfway through the animation. So that's once the one second point. So then type in 1,000 for the cut point. Now for the effect duration, this can be any number from 1 to 2,000. Just make sure it's a number. You just type in 1 and you'll be fine. And for the effects type, what's it going to do? So when the stinger, stinger goes full screen, what transition do you want to occur? In this case, I'm going to choose a cut since you don't really see anything behind it. It's just, it's just, it's just easier. It just makes more sense to me. And click OK. And that's all you need to do. Now you have this thing set up. So I'll throw my picture back up there. And I'll click the number four channel. And it flies up and goes away. Flies in, flies out. Really simple. And that's about it for this little tutorial. Thanks for watching.